Hello everyone! Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano magmultiply ng monomial and a polynomial. Kapag sinabi nating monomial, ito ay isang term lang. At kapag polynomial naman, ito ay 2 terms or more than 3 terms. So dito meron tayong dalawang term. Yung A at saka yung B. So ang rule sa pagmultiply ng monomial at ang polynomial, gamitin natin yung distributive property. So, C times A plus yung C times B. So, CB by distributive property. For example, B times the quantity of 2A plus B. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, B times 2A is equal to 2AB. I-arrange natin siya alphabetically. Then, B times B plus B squared. Okay? So, the product of this example is 2A plus B squared. Dito naman, meron tayong monomial dito at tatlong terms or polynomial or trinomial. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, gamitin ang distributive property. 2A times A is equal to 2A cubed. Then, 2A times negative B is equal to negative 2AB. Then, 2A times 2 is equal to positive 4A. Okay, so kanyan ang rule sa pagmultiply ng monomial and polynomial. Kung gusto nyo pa ng maraming examples, just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Ngayon ay i-review lang natin yung mga basic rule sa pagkuha ng product rule for exponents kasi baka nakalimutan na natin. So, dito sa letter A, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng the same base, that is x times x, ito may invisible na exponent na 1. Kapag kukunin natin yung product nito, i-add natin yung exponent. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to x raised to 2. Another case, a times b, hindi sila pareho. So, simply a times b or ab. Dito naman sa letter c, m times mn, meron tayong m dito with an exponent of 1. So, magiging m is squared. Tapos, wala namang n dun sa naunang variable. Ibig sabihin, n. Then, letter d, for example, m is squared times m x So, ang mangyayari dyan, i-plus lang natin yung exponent ng m. So, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then, x. Kasi walang x dito sa naunang variable. So, ganun lang tandaan ninyo yung mga rules sa pag-multiply ng variables. Proceed tayo sa mga examples. Number 1, 5 times the quantity of 2x plus 3y. So, dito meron tayong monomial at meron tayong binomial kasi dalawang term. Paano natin malalaman kung dalawa or tatlo or terms ba yun kapag pinaghiwalay na siya ng operation? Doon mo bibilangin kung ilan yung terms. So, dito, meron tayong isa. Pinaghiwalay ng addition. So, meron tayong dalawang terms. Dito naman, isa lang. Kaya mo namyal. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, distribute 5 doon sa loob ng parenthesis. 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. Then, 5 times 3y is equal to positive 15y. So, ito na yung sagot. Number 2, negative 4a times the quantity of b minus 3c. Ganun pa rin, use distributive property, negative 4a times b, walang magkaparehong variable, ibig sabihin, wala kang iplaplas na exponent. So, negative 4ab. Then, negative 4 times negative 3c. Kapag negative at negative, positive ang sagot. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. May magkapareho bang variable? Wala. So, copy A and C. 
Dito naman sa number 3, 3m squared times the quantity of negative 2mn minus m squared n. So, distributive property. 3m squared times negative 2mn, that is 3 times negative 2, negative 6, m squared times m, that is m raised to 3, kasi 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then, copy n, kasi wala naman siyang kaparehong variable dito. 3m times negative m squared n. So, 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. And, m squared times m squared, that is m raised to 4. Kasi, 2 plus 2, 4. And then, yung n may kapareho bang variable dito? Wala. Kaya, n din lang. So, ganun lang ang pagkuha ng monomial to a binomial. Then, another example, multiplying monomial to a trinomial. Kasi meron tayong tatlong terms. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, tapos isang term dito. So, ganun din lang. Ang gagawin natin ay distributive property. That is a times a is equal to a squared. Kasi 1 plus 1, 2. a times positive 3b, that is positive 3 a, B. Kasi walang magkaparehong variable. Next, A times positive 4C is equal to positive 4AC. Okay, so ito na yung sagot ng number 4. Number 5, X cubed Y squared times the quantity of 6X cubed minus 4XY squared plus 3XY. So, ganun din lang. I-distribute natin yung monomial dito sa trinomial. Kung mapapansin niyo dalawang variables to. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nito ay binomial kasi hindi naman siya pinaghihiwalay ng operation. Okay, so x cubed y squared times 6x cubed, that is 6x, may pareho bang x meron? So, 3 plus 3, 6. Then, y squared. Next, x cubed y squared times negative 4xy squared that is, negative 4. May pareho bang x? Meron. So, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Then, y, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Next, dito naman. So, 3, positive 3, x, raised to 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Then, y, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, pwede pa ba nating i-reduce? Hindi na. So, ito na yung sagot ng number 5. Number 6, 2K times the quantity of 3M plus 12KX minus 6M squared. So, use the distributive property. 2K times 3M is equal to 2 times 3, that is 6. Then, K, mauna ang K sa M. 2K times positive 12KX, that is... 2 times 12, positive 24. Then, K, ano ang exponent niya? 1 plus 1, 2. Then, X. Kasi wala namang X dito sa naunang term. Next, 2K times negative 6M squared, that is negative 12. Kasi 2 times negative 6 is equal to negative 12. Then, K raised to 1 or K, M squared. So, ganun ang pag-multiply ng monomial at polynomial. Yun lamang mga anaksis. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong mga modules or activities. Kung may mga katanungan kayo or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at share nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!